Hello, Gamer Nom is back. So for today's King's Legacy video, yes guys, we are back with King Legacy. I am going to help this noob reach second C using OP fruit, OP OP Nomi fruit, lost fruit, or whatever you call it. But as usual, it tastes terrible. So guys, do you think is this fruit OP? Let's just say this is my new favorite fruit. So are you ready, guys? Let's go. So as usual guys, we're gonna start here with the fried chicken quest, my favorite quest of all. Guys, did you miss this? Me, I kinda miss this. I am back with King Legacy, so please do comment it on the comment section for those requests, okay? Okay, so now, I'm gonna show it to you once, Game or Nom. Uh, can you please tell me something about OP Fruit? Guys, at the start, this fruit is very hard to level up, I'm telling you. For the first skill, the area, guys, it has no damage. So what is the point of you putting all your stats in the power fruit? There's no point, guys. But this is a video wherein we're gonna use OP fruit, right? So I'm not gonna put on the sword or the melee. We are gonna focus on the fruit. Guys, listen to this. We are gonna level up in the fried chicken quest until we reach level 25. Again guys, 25, you're gonna need to do a chicken mukbang. <laughs> so how do you make it faster, guys? Just server hop, okay? Okay, let's say you've reached level 25. And after that, we are gonna unlock our second skill. But first, let's put some in the power fruit and don't forget to add some in the defense later. So now that we have the gamma skill, exit skill, we can now damage our enemies. Let's try it. Guys, this is a level 10 quest. I'm just trying it. I'm just gonna show you some stuff regarding this skill. So again, you can only use your gamma when you're inside the area. Okay, you can one hit an enemy, obviously. Let's try luring them. Guys, this is only a single target enemy. So even if you lure them, you cannot defeat them. So the best thing is focus on, yes, single target enemies. So we're gonna try it with Smokey at level 25. Okay, area, gamma. Guys, did you see that? I get damage. It's very hard to dodge that. If ever it is possible, I don't know. But guys, you need to put some stats on your defense now. As you can see, I have four stats. There you go. So you're gonna do that until you reach level 30. And next up, Tashi. Guys, it's the same. Area, Gamma, dodge, dodge, dodge. Gamma, dodge, dodge. If you don't dodge, you will die. So guys, what level? Guys, you need to reach level 75 here. Yeah, you heard it right, 75. You're gonna get killed. Oh, by the way, stat checked. By this time, I have 25 defense and all in the power fruit. You're gonna unlock a new skill here. And that skill is teleport. This is kinda good in a way because you can teleport anywhere as long as you're within the area. And then, the cooldown is fast. Okay? But no damage. So when you reach level 75, you can now go to Pirate Island. So first mob. Yes, it's the clown. Let's check it out. Again, don't forget your room. I sorry, room area. Gamma, teleport. Just be patient, guys. Again, this is my new favorite fruit. Stat check. 28 defense and 276 power fruit. There you go. Just keep doing the gamma until you reach level 120. Okay, guys. So at level 120, we can now proceed to the next island, which is the Soldier Island. 120 guys, oops, there's a bug. You can start defeating Captain. Is it hard game room? Yes, you will get hit here, I'm telling you. See that? You cannot dodge that, so sometimes you'll die, but it's fine. Be again, be patient. Be patient, be patient. Because when you unlock the fourth skill at 500 power fruit, the rock, everything will be a lot easier. Check this out, V skill. Guys, the cooldown of that is so fast. Check this, V, okay. See that, another V, and we're good. Okay, so now leveling up is faster. You're gonna do this until you reach level 145. You can now start defeating the Axe Hand. Same, you just use your Rock twice, and if it's not enough, you can use your Gamma, okay? There you go, okay. Guys, you're gonna do this until you reach level 200. Yeah, 200. Again, Gamer Nom, were you bullied in this video? Guys, a lot. I'm telling you guys, it's kinda hard 
at start. But when I reached a certain level, I've unlocked all the skills. If you wanna bully someone, guys, you can do it. Okay, <laughs> but don't do it. Okay, don't do it. So guys, here we've reached level 200. There you go. Avoid fighting other players here because every one of you are leveling up, so it won't help you. Next up, the Shark Island, guys. The Shark Island, we're gonna start by defeating the Karate Fishman. So easy. You're just gonna use the rock. I think two rocks and one gamma skill. Again, in this island, I think I fought a light fruit, a gum fruit, and this dinosaur, guys. But don't, just focus on the prize. We want to reach second C. But don't worry. The fun. I, you can start enjoying this fruit when you reach 750 power fruit. I'm gonna show it to you. We're gonna unlock the heart skill. Guys, this is the coolest skill in the game for me so far. Did you see that? The mob didn't even notice that I took its heart. See that? Guys, the moment you took its heart, you can just click it until it dies. It's, is this a sure death game or no? For most of the mobs. Guys, even outside the area, as long as you get the heart, it's good. Check this out. I did an experiment. So I snatched the heart. I go off the fish man and then I went to another island. Again, we can still attack the enemy even though he's not within the area, right? As long as we have the heart. So we're back in the soldier's island and we're gonna try and defeat the mob. Boom. Guys, it's still effective. Okay, so at level 230, you can start defeating Shark Man. Again, guys, this is how you'll do it. Get the heart, defeat. Okay, after defeating it, talk to the quest giver. It will spawn fast, so use the rock. I think twice is enough. One and... Boom. Okay, so upon reaching level 300, you can now proceed to your next island, the Chef Ship. Chef Ship. Okay, there you go. So first, we're gonna defeat the Black Leg. Again, it depends on you if you want to defeat it by getting its heart aw, <laughs> or using the rock plus the gamma. So guys, again, it depends to you. Our goal here is to reach level 350. Guys, we cannot kill the weapon man and the black leg at the same time. Sorry about that. Okay. Can you see that? The heart is beeping and you're gonna destroy it. <laughs> okay, next up, we're gonna defeat the weapon man. Guys, imagine this in PvP. You can snatch the heart of your enemy. I think I'm gonna make another video for that. A separate video. Okay, so now, our goal. Next goal here is to reach level 450. And start defeating the King Snow. Again, very easy. It really depends on you. Snatch the heart, use the rock, use the gamma. As long as you level up and reach level 500. And when you reach that, you can now start defeating the Heavy Man. Just a tip, guys, if you cannot defeat your enemy with one heart skill in the left clicks, you can get its heart twice, okay? Okay, so when you reach level 625, you can now proceed to the next island, but before that, go to the Sky Island and buy the Observation Hockey. You will need that. Aside from leveling up, you can use that to defend from yourself from the bullies, okay? Okay, now... Here we go, we are in the desert island, start defeating the bomb man. If you notice guys, we've skipped some quests, like for example the candle man, right? Don't mind that guys, this is the fastest way, I guess, or the faster way. There you go, defeat this until you reach level 725, stat check, 564 on the defense, or maybe we're gonna put some, but focus on the power fruit by now. We need more damage, okay? Okay, so at 726, we can now start defeating the King of Sand. Again, this is one of the hardest mob to defeat, but guys, there's no problem when you are using the OP fruit. I think this is becoming one of the overpowered fruits, right? <laughs> okay, there you go. But usually after this, I'm gonna tell you, guys, when you reach 800, you can now go to the Sky Island. No, guys, you need to reach 850 here. Again, we're gonna dodge... The quests that require you to defeat more than one mob. So at 850, you can start defeating the ball man. Let's head to the ball man. There you go. If you can defeat it by just snatching one heart, go for it. If not, use your gamma. After that, get the quest. Next up, defeat it with the rock. Oh, don't forget to max out, right? Your power fruit. Add some to your defense. Just a reminder. There you go. 
Okay, now by this time you can one hit your uh, the ball man with just one heart. Let's check it out. Okay, okay, there you go. That's enough. Left click. So at level 900, you can start defeating the Rumble Man. Again, guys, get the get the heart and create distance. Okay. After that, you can one hit. The, actually, not one hit. Lots of hits, but just one skill. After that, go to the Ball Man, defeat it, and then after that, go back to the Rumble Man. But can we know for how long you're gonna do this until you reach level 1,100? You're gonna stop. Uh, killing or defeating the bald man when you reach level 1051 okay because the level gap is so far that it won't be giving you experience so there you go guys again 1100 is our goal level next up we will head to the bubble island again we're gonna skip the first quest we're gonna go straight to the leader again snatch the heart and if you're still within the enemy's range of attack it will attack you, so make sure that you try to dodge it. There you go. And defeat it. So our goal level here is 1,150. And after that, you can proceed to the next mob, the Pasta, Pacifista, or Pacista, or I don't know. You can kill it in two ways, the same as the others. You, you can snatch the heart, or you can use the rock. Guys, this Pasta cannot attack you because you're always out of its range see that okay, so it really depends to you on how you defeat it you're gonna do this until you reach level 1325 guys we're so near guys did you notice the moment that we got the rock skill and the heart skill everything came a lot easier so at 1325 you can defeat two mobs here the giraffe and the wolf so make sure that when you cast your area both mobs are within your range. Okay, so you can snatch the heart. Oh, defeat it easily. And after that, go to the wolf and defeat it using your rocks. There you go. Okay. Gamer, what is the target level? 1,400. When you reach level 1,400, you can now start defeating your last mob, which is Leo. You go. To defeat Giraffe and Leo at the same time, it's kind of hard to be honest. So I think you just should just fo focus on Leo. So, I think that's not enough. You need other skills to defeat it. Okay. Or you can get two hearts. Or you just use your rock and start dancing. The stat check, max power fruit 1500 plus is allotted in your defense. And that's it guys. Again, you can dance while defeating Leo until you reach level 1,500. So gamer, now what's next? You can now proceed to the Marine Ford, the War Island. There you go. Go to the Quest Giver. He is located here. Talk to him. He will ask you to look for a map. And that map is located in the Fishland. You need to defeat this one. There you go, the seasoned fishman, until you get the map. How hard is it, gamer gnome, guys? It is a matter of luck. If you can get it in your first, your second, your fifth, or even your twentieth, try as long as you get it. So when you get it, you can now proceed. Go back to the war island, give it to the traveler, and then go back to the starting island. And after that, talk to the elite pirate, and that's it. We've reached second C. And that's it for the video. By the way, guys, we have some sneak peeks on our Discord channel. King Legacy Discord channel. I think I'll be sharing that and hype things in the upcoming update of King Legacy. So again, guys, that will be it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. More King Legacy video to come. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I appreciate you all. This is GamerNom. And GamerNom out.